For today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the zero of logarithmic functions and we are going to explain everything in details. So let's have an example. On example number 1, y equals log x base 2. To find the zero of the given function, the first step that we are going to do is to set the function equal to zero. So let us have zero equals log x base 2. And let us convert this one into exponential form. So this will be 2 raised to 0 is equal to x. 2 raised to 0, that is 1. Therefore, the 0 of the given function is equal to 1. On example number 2, y equals log x plus 5 base 2. To find the 0 of the given function, let us equate the function equal to 0. So let us have 0 equals log x plus 5 base 2. And let us convert this one into exponential form. So this will be 2 raised to 0 is equal to x plus 5. 2 raised to 0, that is 1, equals x plus 5. And let us move 5 on the side of 1. It will give us x equals 1 minus 5. And 1 minus 5, that is negative 4. And this will be the 0 of the given function. On example number 3, y equals log x minus 2, base 2 minus 4. To find the 0 of the given function, let us simply equate the function equal to 0. So let us have 0 equals log x minus 2, base 2 minus 4. And let us move negative 4 on the side of 0. It will give us 4 equals log x minus 2 base 2. And let us convert this one into exponential form. So this will be 2 raised to 4 equals x minus 2. 2 raised to 4, that is 16. That means you are going to multiply 2 4 times to itself, and that is 16, equals x minus 2. And let us move negative 2 on the side of 16. So this will be x equals 16 plus 2. 16 plus 2, that is 18. And this will be the 0 of the given function. On example number 4, y equals log x plus 4, base 2 minus 4. To find the 0 of the given function, let us equate the function equal to 0. Let us have 0 equals log x plus 4 base 2 minus 1. And let us move negative 1 on the side of 0. It will give us 1 equals log x plus 4 base 2. And then, let us convert this one into exponential form. So this will be 2 raised to 1 equals x plus 4. 2 raised to 1, that is 2, equals x plus 4. Let us move 4 on the other side of equation. So this will be x equals 2 minus 4. And 2 minus 4, that is negative 2. And this will be the 0 of the given function. On example number 5, y equals negative log x minus 2 base 1 half plus 4. To find the 0 of the given function, let us equate the function equal to 0. So let us have 0 equals negative log x minus 2 base 1 half plus 4. To eliminate the negative sign, let us move this one on the other side of equation. It will give us log x minus 2 base 1 half equals 4. And let us convert this one into exponential form. So this will be 1 half raised to 4 equals x minus 2. 1 half raised to 4, that is 1 over 16. That means you are going to distribute the exponent in the numerator and the denominator. So this will be 1 over 16 equals x minus 2. And let us move negative 2 on the other side of equation. So this will be x equals 1 over 16 plus 2. 
And if you are going to add this one, this will be 2 and 1 over 16. And this will be our answer. On example number 6, y equals log of log 3x plus 2. To find the zero of the given function, let us equate this one into zero. So let us have zero equals log of log 3x plus 2. And since we have a common logarithm, our base is 10. So let us convert this one into exponential form. So this will be 10 raised to zero equals log 3x plus 2. 10 raised to 0, that is 1, equals log 3x plus 2. And then, let us convert into exponential form. So this will be 10 raised to 1 equals 3x plus 2. 10 raised to 1, that is 10, equals 3x plus 2. And let us move 2 on the side of 10. It will give us 3x equals 10 minus 2. 10 minus 2, that is 8. Let us divide both sides by 3. Let us cancel this one. So x is equal to 8 over 3. And if you are going to divide this one or to write this one into mixed number, this will be 2 and 2 thirds. And this will be our answer. On our last example, y equals log base 2 of log base x of 16 minus 2. To find the zero of the given function, let us equate the function equal to zero. So let us have zero equals log base 2 of log base x of 16 minus 2. And let us move this one on the other side of equation. It will give us 2 equals log base 2 of log base x of 16. And let us convert this one into exponential form. So let us have 2 raised to 2 equals log base x of 16. 2 raised to 2, that is 4, equals log base x of 16. And then... Let us convert into exponential form. So this will be 4 raised to x equals 16. And to find the value of x, we must have the same base. So let us write 16 as 4 squared. Because 4 multiply 2 times to itself, it will give us 16. So this will be 4 raised to x equals 4 raised to 2. So let us cancel the base. And the value of x is 2. And this will be the 0 of the given function. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.